I think slope. he's safe yeah. back there. You have about 40 feet from behind the bunker to till the water. Can you go hanging this one high and wide? Right in the bunker. Oh, no. He's parked, but it looked like probably in the hazard. So I didn't see a I don't see the hazard. Indicator. Nico is the single most dramatic disc golfer we've <laughs> ever seen. I thought, I think that's probably the best way to play the hole is to come up just short of the bunkers. You can get inside circle one. Especially if you're straight on like Cade was. Oh, and here we go. Taking a look at Nico's shot here. The hat, the sand is all hazard and you have to be touching at least part of your disc has to be touching grass but I don't know if that grass that is in the sand would count looks like yeah, Nico's these, these are tough calls you know it's there's an element where the benefit of the doubt goes to the player so if it if you can't tell within a few seconds you know I, I think it's almost got to be safe but it yeah it's a tough one I'd like to see them paint paint some lines where it's easier to make a definitive call before we get to the world championships looks like they gave him the benefit of the doubt and he's looking at a tap in birdie And in, looks like just a moment here, we have Paul Macbeth on the tee, hole number 15, 16. Paul's release is somewhat high and on the right hand side. Seems to be a conversation amongst the competitors as to whether or not Paul is in fact inbounds or not. We have Uliberry and Waisaki both taking a look. Here comes Dan Hastings. He's going to chime in. Obviously, it's a group decision as to whether or not he's OB. There is not a defined line out here, which I think could be a possible consideration for Steve Dodge in the future to only simply because there is a very wet and muddy and mucky area seems as, as if there is some water in some places however it is not consistent throughout hence the continued conversation that's taking place over here Michael Downs trying to determine as well and you see the players very closely looking at it So if you landed right there, completely surrounded by water, you call that safe. That's, I what, that's my argument. Would, I that's guess you would have to. Because what, do you mean, what do you mean? It's surrounded by water. It's a swamp, and he's in the swamp, and he's surrounded by water. It says you can play out of casual water. We don't know it's where that is. casual water. I mean, what about that, then? That's so casual water. I think it's casual water. It's a swamp. That's not a swamp. Swamp? Yeah, that's the pond. This is casual that's that's I mean, what I see. I, think I mean, I'd wrong. like to talk to Steve about it also, but yeah. Well, um, we're sitting here arguing about it. Call Steve. There's, there's a rule in the PDGA that they can play through if there's a yeah. Right? That's fine. Yeah. I'm happy if, to call Steve. If we, get a, back, down, if we get a backup, they can play through. Yeah, I got it. No, they're way back there, and then they're just they barely teed off. 
Well, then, so you're telling me I can go over to where that yellow disc is and play from it, <laughs> and sink and sink two feet down into water? You yeah, know what I mean? Thing. Like there should, there, be, a should be a line, line. Yeah. Should be. and that's yeah. where I want to know what yeah. where, where the, the casual where the, where the casual be. play starts. I yeah. certainly understand. I think that Steve's gonna call it in. Yeah, I mean, I think yeah. he's gonna call it in. Yeah. If it were left up to me, I would call that casual. Because of this, because there's no line. Yeah. Again, a continued conversation here as to whether or not Paul's disc is OB or not. You can see that there is definitely not in standing water per se. However, it is very wet and muddy and swampy is the term that's being used. I mean, it's like he's like on the line pretty much. You know what I mean? Like if we were to call a line, he's like on the line. I mean, if you landed right there, you'd say safe in the middle of a No, and that's what I'm like saying. But what I'm saying is... See, that's safe. Good. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Don't lose your shoe. Don't lose your oh shoe. Jesus. You're out of bounds, bro. <laughs> <laughs> is this real? And Paul, uh, 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 oh, my gosh. You're out of bounds. I'm out of here. <laughs> and Paul McBeth, or Paul Uliberry, after coming down off of the rock, unfortunately, has maybe just ruined a pair of his shoes. <laughs> and jokingly said, you're out of bounds, bro. Crystal Luna for Paul. And... That's got to put the brakes on as well. And no. no crawls over. Is it safe, though? They don't know. Oh, my goodness. And they got to get there quick because they could float away. I, I think you're going to have a hard time arguing that's OB. Oh, that looks safe. Oh, certainly. Wow. That, that is a five-time break if I've ever seen one right there. It I doesn't mean. get any closer. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Good thing the fountain was turned off. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty amazing that it would come to rest. Just thinking about all the forces at play, the spin, the speed, the wind, the slide, and just to think that <laughs> every last blade of grass played its part <laughs> in keeping that birdie They all came alive. together in this perfect harmony of go through your head so i was really really excited to hit that putt and as you should be oh, left hand left side kind of cage or spit out excuse me not cage out chain out and i'm not sure what the result here is yeah and at this moment katrina actually threw her mini and we kind of had an exchange here, and now we're having a secondary exchange over, is it safe? Is it OB? The rule states if it's completely surrounded by water, it is out of bounds. So we're trying to decide here, is that the case or is it not? And you can hear, you know, Kat is pleading that her disc is not surrounded by water. Are the rocks safe or is it the grass? We're talking is about it the rocks, the rocks? It's just yeah. the water. If it's, if it's just surrounded by water, then I, I think it's probably the same. But... And the final ruling on that for the card. That it was safe. Um, it was touching a rock. Yeah, we couldn't tell famous. if that they rock smashed the back. Yeah. There's a bit of discussion going on um, between Paige and Kat at this point. Um, you can tell there is a lot of nervousness, a lot of anxiousness between the two players. Kat is in the lead um, and has just had a rough hole. Paige just cashed in a birdie um, between the mini throw and potentially the actually inbounds or what could have been an out-of-bounds call. These players are entering hole 17 with a lot of extra pressure. 